so we welcome everyone to today's class so as i was telling yesterday in today's class we will be learning how to uh, the draping of the sari how to drape the sari for uh, devi so today we have uh, chosen to learn how to drape the sari for the utsava murti of nityanandeshwari who is in the form of manonmani devi in the agamic uh, scriptures this form of devi is called manonmani devi where you can see her one hand is uh, down completely resting and her one hand is in the kataka hasta the kataka mudra and uh, she is bent towards her her right okay so this is the form of devi called manonmani which is the utsava murti of uh, shri nityanandeshwari so this devi we worship as meenakshi as uh, during the meenakshi brahmotsav and uh, during the nityanandeshwara brahmotsav we worship her we worship her as uh, shri apita kuchitamba or unnamuli amman and uh, during the uh, shivaratri brahmotsav we worship her as the um, jnana prasunambika the devi of shri kalahasteeshwara so she is the utsava murti of shri nityanandeshwari in the kailasa temple okay so we're going to learn how to drape the sari for her so we're going to learn two ways one is the uh, normal sari draping another one is the madi sari uh, draping so we will get into the class so before we start uh, so before we start uh, entering into the alankaram itself i just wanted to let you know that all devis all the ambals must have a cloth or a sari around them uh, covering from their neck to their feet it's the respect that we give for their privacy as being the uh, devi forms okay and always make sure that all ambal deities have the mangalyam the tirumangalyam on them on okay because that represents their their love and their chastity and their integrity to parmashiva as the uh, lalita sahasranam says that uh, she is the one who is eternally wearing the mangalyam because she is married to parmashiva who himself does not who himself is not uh, who is beyond birth and death so she who is married to him and having this tirumangalyam is the one who is having the mangalyam forever she is the nitya sumangali okay so have a rope okay ready so this is the basic uh, way you should have it and uh, now so take a sari a complete sari a full sari uh, old sari prefer uh, preferably so pleat it completely like how we used to do for the utsava murtis okay and then fold it in half and put a rope through okay yes so put a rope through and you can see this is a complete sari so put a rope through and tie it on so always take the mangalyam out okay so hold the cloth take the mangalyam out and now put this cloth above okay exactly at the neck at the neck point okay so as i was telling earlier remember not to go this close please do not go this close give some gap and tie it just below the ears okay so you can see we have achieved the first stage of it okay now tie it okay so taking that same rope i'm going to bring it through the hip of devi nityanandeshwari so when i say hip you will not tie it at the hip you will tie it at the waist so that you can give a good uh, look to the hip of devi now what we are going to do is so now we have tied this much okay now this part we are just going to take it and now we are going to bend it in okay we are going to do this 
so take the take one end of it okay one end of the sari the first half of the sari and always uh, difficult to find this one half okay we got it so I have the one half twist it around tuck it in I'll take the second half and fold it in okay. here fold it in here okay now release the other half so this gives a big uh, a buffing effect to the size of Devi okay at the hip of Devi and uh, now you have the rest of the cloth so the rest of the cloth goes in and you leave it here now we need to tie ropes okay so have a rope and tie it first rope tie it down And then next layer, tie another rope. So we tie these ropes properly so that we give a nice uh, effect of uh, the katamu, sorry, the the Devi's uh, dimensions, the body dimensions of Devi, of how a female would be. So don't do it too tightly. As you can see, if you do it too tightly, the lines come in between. So just enough that the cloth is stiff and it doesn't move around, and the shape is maintained. Okay, and now we are done with that. So, for any alankaram, this is the basic. You have to tie the inner cloth like this, means the layer below, like this only. Now, at the sides, top sides, you need to take small cloth, okay, and hold it. A small bit and put it under at the shoulders so that the shoulders are not uh, stooping down so that she looks uh, all regal and royal so if I remove this you can see what happens this will come down we don't want that we want it to be up and royal same way on the other side up and royal so that the shoulders do not stoop and tighten it tighten everything pull it pull it completely so this will come out so push it in okay everything tighten everything you can see i'm pulling it through the ropes so that we can tighten the entire body shaping of the v and bald now, now we can get on to tying the sari. Today's, uh, today's alankaram, we have chosen a sari called the checker sari. The checker sari, okay. So this is the checker sari. So as you can see this sari has a nice border with the contrasting colors so i prefer to use saris with the full border means on both sides you have the same border one two okay so open this sari and now start pleating the entire sari so when you pleat the sari, pleat it like this, like this, okay, do like this, okay. So like this we are going to do it now.
So once you have done uh, three fourth of the sari, pleating three fourth of the sari, so you can just start twisting it. If you have long hands, start twisting it or have the help of another person. So you need to twist this sari. This is a trick that is used in all temples where they don't have time because of the abhishekams and the next alankarams that they have to do. They will uh, be just uh, twisting it to give that uh, iron effect. Okay. So then what you do is, watch very carefully. You need to fold the sari which you have pleated now into half. Like this. Okay. So you got the sari in half. Okay. So there you go. Got this. So when you release the sari, the fleet should stand on its own. That is what is needed. Okay. So now you can have it uh, to the height that you want. So some temples like to do it really high. Some like to go low. I like to go low. Because uh, I just like to see the Devi in a... We like to see Devi with a taller form. Okay. So here I keep it. And tight. Okay. So exactly at the hip level again, at the waist level, sorry. I'm gonna tie the tightly tie it. Don't let it be loose, it should not fall down. Okay, now take the sari to one half, one side. Okay, it's already folded in half. You can see it's already folded in half. So take it through. Make sure you do not cover the hands of. Uh, okay, and now bring the. Pallu from the feet of Devi, okay? From the feet, you need to bring the Pallu. Okay? From here. Okay? And do it tightly, okay? Now bring this to the other side. Okay? Same, same thing you need to do. Now take the rest of the sari and bring it through the upper hand exactly at the feet point. Okay. So now what we are going to do is now you may see that she is looking very fat. Okay, she is looking extremely fat, but she is not fat. There's just a few small things that we need to do which will make her look very nice. So I have a rope. Okay, and again go through the hip, hip point, okay? And tighten it, tighten the sari. So you need to take your fingers like this, take your hand like this, like you're going to strangle someone and push it in. Really you have to press and push it in and make sure that the shape stays. And now the extra rope we can use it to pull the sari down. Okay. So this is the basic uh, alankaram for any form of bulbs. Any ambal you want to do alankaram is the basic alankaram form. Okay. Now, have a small rope and tighten this. Okay.
So what happens is it tightens the sari and gives you that nice effect of the bends, the curves. Okay, so this is basic tying of sari for any Utsav Murti of Nityanandeshwari Ambal. Okay, so this is the basic, and then you can have a parrot back into her hand. So this is one way of doing the Alankaram. Now we are going to see the Madi Sari. So I can remove the parrot and start removing back all the ropes. So Madi Sari is a very famous Alankaram for all Ambals, whether it is Lakshmi, whether it is uh, no, Devi herself, Meenakshi, famous for Meenakshi herself and uh, so many temples, even the Arunachaleshwara temple, they are very famous for doing the Madisari Alankaram for the, uh, their Utsav Ambal. Okay, so now I'm going to remove it. Yes. Now we remove the sari. Okay. So now what are we going to do is we are going to remove the entire sari. Okay. Going to open it up, okay. and I'm going to take the edge again. See this part. Okay. And now I'm going to fold it in half. Okay. Fold it in half, and towards the left side. Okay, I'm gonna pleat it towards the left side. You can make maybe five, seven pleats. Small size, do not need to be so big. Small size pleats. So make sure that the pleats are all. Okay. Okay. So now we have pleats. Again, twist the pleats. Never forget to twist the pleats. Okay. And it stands on its own. Okay. Now take this top part through the loop. So this has to come a little more higher. Okay, and this extra part, take it back. Okay. Now, now watch very carefully. This sari. Now what are we going to do is, we are going to fold it. Okay, just going to take it and bring it up. So like this, I'm going to take the sari in the center. I'm going to bring it up and tuck it in here ok so I have now folding here and now the other side of the folding I'm gonna bring it here ok yes now twist it all over again And here again, take the sari.
okay and again now bring it through her hip again don't bring it on the top bring it through the hip Now it's time to adjust the sari. Okay. So now the extra part of the sari can be left behind. Okay. So now what we are doing is we are adjusting the nadi sari okay so this comes to one side and Okay, so we have done the adisari also. So this side, the other side of the um, the other side of uh, the V, where we have not covered with the sari. Is the blouse bit now? Okay, this is going to be the blouse part. Okay, and we have done the madisari alankaram. Okay, so today we have learned how to do the madisari alankaram and the um, normal sari alankaram. So today we have learned these two things. So for Madisari Alankaram, I recommend that uh, everybody watches it again and uh, look very carefully how we have done it and please practice it. Okay. So with this, we come to the end of today's class and I thank all of you for joining us. So tomorrow we will be looking into how to jewel uh, Devi and how to do the Thalai Alankaram for Yandeshu. Okay. So with this, we will end with the Purna Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamataya Purnamevavasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavat Sri Nityananda Parmashiva Padukarpanavastu Om Nityananda